Okay, so let's take a look at the custom scale function of the bimodal device. Uh, what we can do is we can set, well first the thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock our modes from each other. Now, we'll select in mode 1, we'll select, we'll come over here, and we'll scroll to custom 7 note, uh, 7 note number 1. And if I go over here, you'll see that there's one labeled don't use. There's one menu item labeled don't use, and there's actually another one over here labeled don't use. And these are just so that the two custom scale uh, grids won't interfere with each other. So, but here you see we have custom seven note number two. So now we can sw switch these to custom seven note number two. Uh, and uh, obviously we can set these independently of each other um, so we could have one being I don't know melodic minor and the other being custom that's not an issue but they're just so that these grids don't interfere with each other so let's take a look at the grids here we have a set of two grids with 12 steps up and down and seven across here, this toggle will link the two together. So as you just saw, when I change one, the other changes, and vice versa. If I unselect this, now I can set them independently of each other if I need to. Let's keep them locked together for a moment. Uh, but now I can go through and I can start creating a custom scale. Um, I don't know, we'll just create a custom scale like this. There we go. Now I've got a custom scale. <clears throat> and now I can play. And now I can play that custom scale. And if I need to, I can start adjusting it as however I like. Maybe we want it to be like that. And we can adjust our custom, our, our set of two seven note custom scales um, quickly and easily. Okay, thanks very much.